In most wood-framed multifamily structures, a minimum of three-quarter inches of gypsum underlayment is installed so the structure will pass inspection for fire resistance. When the gypsum underlayment has been installed improperly due to overwatering or over-sanding, the result is a chalky, low-compressive-strength gypsum underlayment that cracks and debonds from the substrate. These conditions make the installation of new floor coverings extremely challenging, if not impossible. To add to the complexity, the use of non-specified repair materials may negate the fire resistance rating of the floor assembly. So how does a flooring contractor resurface a compromised gypsum underlayment without compromising the floor assembly's fire resistance rating? Fortunately, USG has developed a gypsum repair protocol to address these challenges. There are three key steps contractors must follow to rehabilitate damaged gypsum floors. Inspect, prepare, resurface. Let's take a closer look at each. Inspect. Expose the existing gypsum underlayment and inspect for characteristics such as softness, cracks, chalkiness, deformation, irregularities, loose gypsum, and areas that deflect under heavy loads. Conduct a coin test as shown here. Using medium pressure, scrape a coin over the surface of the gypsum underlayment. A compromised underlayment such as this one will crumble, disintegrate, or turn chalky as shown here and will require an application of USG Duroc Fusion Primer. In contrast, a similar coin test on a consolidated gypsum underlayment surface results in just minimal scratching. Next, core the underlayment to confirm that there is minimum 3 quarter inch of gypsum underlayment over the substrate. This is one factor that will help determine the appropriate thickness of product for you to pour or trowel in order to maintain the fire resistance rating of the assembly. Prepare. Remove all loose gypsum using a stiff bristle broom. Then use a HEPA vacuum to remove as much dust as possible. Now, you're ready to apply USG Duroc brand fusion primer to the surface, including any exposed plywood or sound attenuation mat using a deck sprayer. Apply enough fusion primer to saturate and penetrate the weak top layer of the damaged underlayment. The primer will bind loose gypsum particles and consolidate the surface. After drying, the gypsum is ready for resurfacing. Lastly, resurface using USG Duroc brand Tough Skim Floor Patch, USG Duroc brand Quick Top, or Quick Top FR Self-Leveling Underlayment. USG Duroc brand Tough Skim is a trowelable patch which is recommended for shallow repairs up to half inch or for small areas of repair. After application, USG Duroc Tough Skim will be ready for flooring in as little as 30 minutes. For large areas or areas that require deeper fill, USG Duroc brand Quick Top Self-Leveling Underlayment is recommended. And for weak, cracked, or crumbling gypsum underlayment or in high traffic areas, USG Duroc brand Quick Top Fiber Reinforced Self-Leveling Underlayment will help provide better impact resistance, durability, and resistance to cracking while providing a new bondable surface. After application, Quick Top and Quick Top FR are ready for floor covering in as little as 15 hours. And that's it. Following this protocol with USG Duroc brand UL classified and specified products will result in a smooth, strong surface that helps maintain the fire resistance rating of the floor assembly and allows you to begin flooring installation in less than 24 hours. To learn more about building requirements or USG flooring products, visit usgperformanceflooring.com.